First of all, I'm here with uh, Amit Dill and a lot of uh, officers and commanders from the IDF. We have about 600 reservists behind us. And the situation is kind of... Uh, Breaking the Silence is an organization that kind of started in Israel, and it's an organization that's being funded from sources from outside of Israel. It's an organization that's starting to take its information, which are not all truthful, and use it as artillery on college campuses and all over the world as a way to fund BDS and other organizations that are anti-Israel and anti-Zionist. We are here to stop that and to kind of show the world the true faith of the IDF, a moral army, a democratic army, an army that does the best that it can, and I say from personal experience and even more so from the officers and commanders here, who were in the field themselves and experienced this first-hand eye basis. Now what you guys are presenting here are stories from the field. Today we had the ability to come over with a bunch of officers and commanders who themselves served in high positions in the IDF and bring personal experiences of themselves where they were actually preparing for operations, preparing for situations before battle and they pulled away and they did things that no other army does to make sure that no other civilians were harmed. Now, while for some Israelis, for many Jews around the world, what Breaking the Silence are doing is disturbing, it bothers them, we see when you guys are telling the story that it really it, it even affects you personally. Personally, of course, it affects someone like myself and someone like the people that I was standing with today, like Amit and the others, because we serve in the IDF reserves. We are people who we know that the second that we put on our uniform and go out to battle, God forbid, that the first thing on our mind is not to harm civilians, it's to defend Israel and to defend all of its civilians. And we make sure to do our best, and they make sure to do their best, to make sure that the world and us as a military force understand that we have to take into consideration the civilians that are surrounding us, and we have to make sure not to harm anyone. Breaking the silence is making a situation where us, we are the people that they are hurting. The person, the regular fighter, the regular commander, the regular officer in the IDF is being hurt from all over the world now because of these people going to Europe, to the United States, to other countries and taking information that is not even 100% backed up and using money from organizations from outside like BDS and other places and using it against Israel and against commanders and personally affecting us. Now the guys in Breaking the Silence respond and say we're here to criticize, we're here to create a better idea. Again, as Amit said before, we don't have an issue with someone bringing up situations. Any battle, any war, if you look at history, has civilian casualties. The issue here is to understand that the IDF is a moral army. We're an army that defends the country. We're not an army that attacks. It's a defense force. It's in the actual name of the IDF, Israel Defense Force. We don't want a situation where people go around the world and bring up stories where we hurt civilians on purpose or officers give commands that hurt civilians because, God forbid, that is something not true as someone who was a fighter himself and someone who stood with people that themselves give the commands. Forget about the fact that I'm just a fighter. These are people that are commanders and officers that are leading others. And we've heard their personal experiences where they do the best that they can not to hurt civilians. Bringing these situations to outside of Israel is already making a situation where BDS and other places can use it again, like I said before, artillery against Israel. Forget about the fact that it's war. They're using it against Israel in an anti-Zionist form.